Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Madison and Christian here. As you guys can see, we have made some progress on the setup. We do have a few more things we wanna add, but I think we're both happy with it for now. We're just really excited to get into the finale episode of Fallout. Honestly, this show has been incredible and we can't wait to see how they cap it off. So I think we're both ready. Thank you guys for joining us. Let's do it. Let's do it. They're just staring him down. What? They took over Philly? Whoa. Well, I guess nobody was there after everything that happened. Oh no. Here's the head. Oh, oh no. It's not the first time a brother in your company has fallen into misfortune. Oh no. I fear you lied then. No artifact, my lord. Just as you lied. No. Confess. Don't kill me and I can lead you to it. Oh, I can help you. Please, my lord. My injury was my own doing, not his. What? Don't see that much anymore. Oh no. Man, he's lucky. He's so lucky. How did Titus die? He died running. Oh. And yet power is taken, not given. The lesson you seem to have learned. Yeah. And you can lead us to the relic. And together, you and I, we will take power. Oh, okay. So they're forming an alliance. With me as its head and the likes of you as its sword. <laughs> wow. That Damn. whole situation did a 180. He was about to kill him. He's like, join me. Right? <laughs> Do it. Bro. <laughs> she got some XP. Oh, wow. Look, wow. it's like a whole grocery store. Whole community. And ghouls. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Oh. She saved him. He was the one that was like, thank you. And then he like ran out. He was the last one. Oh. When she let all the ghouls out. <gasps> well, thank you for the ride. Oh, it's the least I could do after I bungled your oil change. <laughs> well, I appreciate you trying. Go. Ah, this guy again. Good to see you, buddy. <laughs> what is he driving? What is that thing? Well, maybe take it over the boys and I see. You have him take a look. No, no, I can fix it myself. I just need to figure out where the pit boy is trying to transmit. I'm, I'm heading out. <gasps> no. The basic idea is that the biggest obstacle to achievement has been the brevity of the human lifespan. So ideally, Buds Buds will keep my project on track centuries into the future. Nifty. Buds. <laughs> He's talking about the experiments in the vaults, right? I guess so. I think he's talking about freezing people. Oh, so that they could see wake how up in the future. Mm. I think that's how Moldavers around. So he's got to be close to listen. So he messed up her oil change on purpose so he could drive her. Oh no, he's gonna go inside. Oh, there he is. Oh, she's eating good. Damn. What the hell? I've had a lot of time to think about this moment. Actually tried to stuff an old grenade into the neck hole. Yes, I... 
was gonna walk in here and start some shit. Everybody up. <laughs> I love her. If you don't mind, I'm gonna keep things civil. Oh, right in her food. Now, please give me my dad back. First, what if I tell you how I know your father? Oh, no. Don't listen. To you me. think your father was born in a vault like you? Oh, no way. Hello? <gasps> Futurama floating brains? <laughs> I love it. What the fuck? Oh, thank you, Betty. Wait, you're not Betty. Or Hank. Oh no. What are you? Initiate protocol 53. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> the brain's Run. gonna get him. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Just hit him with the broom. Unless you let me inject you with this. <laughs> no. Don't you go in there. Don't read anything in there. Or turn on the lights. <laughs> Don't you access the info tree or look at the terminal. Okay, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for letting me know, yeah. By the way, Mr. Howard, there's a new guy who works with Barb. Henry, do you mind if I bring him by just to meet me for a moment? Of course. Yeah, always happy to meet a fan. <laughs> He's like, I really don't want to. He's like, please, not that guy. Everything that we've accomplished is the result of this fruit-bearing collaboration between like-minded corporations that make America great. Welcome. Robco. What? These are like some head honchos. We'd like to collaborate on some of our vaults. What if people are still alive on the surface? Meanwhile, our competitors, you know, every other human who isn't us, will be dead on the surface. So you think. Who's to say your rats are mm -hmm. gonna survive better than those animals on the surface? And you still haven't addressed the fundamental question. I, I don't need rats no, on the surface. No, no, no. Order, order. How do I provide her with a better future? That's what we've invited you here to discuss. I suggest we hedge our bets. Wait! I am the overseer here. My orders must be followed. He's the overseer? You'll never find out. He wasn't. Oh, he's gonna find out. Oh, he's gonna find out. Is he from outside? I don't know. Is he from before? Son of a bitch. What? I knew it. These are Bud's buds. Mmm. So, we kept Vault Tech alive instead. A well trained staff of highly supervised junior executives for my own assistant training program. <laughs> Whoa! And you can see how many of them have already Been hatched. Let out. We have over oh. 100 spread across America. Whoa. Is there one where we are? Yeah. Your own ideas for how to create the perfect conditions for humanity. Whatever you want to do. No one needs to know. <gasps> wow. My husband heard that. Yep. So what's Vault 32 and 33? Just people to be controlled? Yeah, why? Genetically selected to breed with my buzz create a class of super managers. <laughs> what? Make lemonade. People who will inherit the earth after we've wiped the surface clean. Wow. Wiped the surface clean. We could intentionally overcrowd a vault so people have to compete to survive. They're it. literally just coming up with the most terrible ideas. What about using a vault to develop a super mutant soldier using illegal immigrants? We could Wow. Just how evil can we go? Separate parents and children and only the smartest kids reach adulthood. Wow. What? 
he heard about all the vaults. We're talking about making a significant investment based on a hypothetical. How can you guarantee... Is that house? By dropping the bomb ourselves. <gasps> oh my god. I'm, 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 I'm fine, Betty. Betty? He is so excited to meet you. That's Betty. I'm Henry, but uh, everyone calls me Hank. <gasps> oh, shit. Your father has been around for a very long time. McLean, he knew her last name. And that scene, that scene where you shoot Joey Toro in the face. That CG is a little rough. Mm-hmm. And more. Well. Say it. War never changes. Yes. Wow. <laughs> He never told you where he's really from, when he's from. He never told your mother either. Isn't that why you came to the surface, really? Partly to rescue your father, but to know why I took him. That's true. So did her mom just find out too much? I think so. Wait, Dane, they're sending you? Punishment for what I did to myself. Damn. That's why you came back to rescue her. I'm leaving with her. Okay. Oh, wait. Nobody ever goes to war. What? There's nowhere safe, Max. And there's no leaving. That's true. He's gonna have to steal a suit or something. Mm hmm. Maybe he'll get one of the jetpack ones. Jetpack? Oh, and then it's like really like an Iron Man suit, yeah. right? <laughs> Hell yeah. Your mother discovered that something was siphoning the vault's water away. Deduced that maybe civilization had returned to the surface. When she told her husband, he said it was a ridiculous idea and that she should tell no one. So she ran away. Like you did, Lucy. Oh, she just left? And took her children. Oh. That's why she remembers. Mm-hmm. He took the children, and he burned that city. Too. No. Shady Sands? Shady Sands. <gasps> Are you... F Bro, he killed so many people. I literally cannot believe that. She knew her too. Damn. She Clean water and medicine and power, people. but for everyone. Lucy, because when Vault Tech bought my research, people. they made it proprietary. Oh man, the two of them going back and forth. Oh no. I think you know. She was in the city? Mm-hmm. Is that her? What? <gasps> it is. <gasps> the necklace. No. I am I'm so pissed off at this dude like bro give her the code Whoa This is cool Oh poor kid he's just having the worst day so Steph is from before too. Mm. Yeah, all those people. 
And how many more are there? Wow. Well, then with what you've learned. Smash him. But then he's just stuck there. That's why I'd suggest you wait it out in your dad's pond. Unless you want to starve to death, not much food in here except the occasional very large bug. Oh no. He has no choice. Oh. Well, he's good with computers. Maybe he could hack the terminal. No. Oh. She was literally about to push the button. Oh, okay, they got some turrets. Oh, let's go. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh my Dog, what? God. Oh. Oh, man, it's oh, going down. Bro. I had to make a choice between their violent world. She got the laser pistol. Oh. No, man, the brotherhood sucks. Oh. Jeez. Oh, oh dude. <laughs> <gasps> Both of the flags going. <laughs> the choke slam through the table. Love it. I see it with you. <laughs> this is brutal. Oh, they got in. No. Bro. Oh, I'm just mowing him down. God, where's Moldaver? <gasps> Is that the ghoul? Please tell me. I see the it hat. It is, isn't it? That outfit makes y'all feel like a big man, don't it? Mm, let's go. There's a flaw in the welding just below the chest. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Probably not. It's probably the old model. Oh. 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 Whoa, whoa. <laughs> that was dope. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Maximus, get down. He's got a grenade. Dude, it went in the suit? <laughs> Dude. Okay. Max is the first one through the door. Lucy? Lucy, hey. Hey, I'm her father. Can you get us out of here? Ah, oh, don't listen to him. And that was what... Mm-hmm. They killed his family and put him on this path. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. No. You're coming with me. What? Oh. Oh, my God. Pop him. You're not gonna hurt me. <gasps> oh. Yes, he did it for her. Oh, you want another autograph, young Henry? <laughs> Yo, 
your daughter said her last name was McLean, Will. I just couldn't believe that it was the McLean. Yes, mm. he remembered. Over 200 years to ask somebody one question. Where's my fucking family? <gasps> True. What? What a bitch. Max. Could she bring the ghoul? She can't bring the ghoul back to her vault, right? They They'll would be not. like, what the hell is this? Yeah. But maybe that's where his family is. In 31, right? Uh -huh. That's what I was thinking. Looks like chaos. But there's always somebody behind the wheel. That's where your daddy is headed. But you let him go. Well, it's easier to track a stuck pig than to ask you where it's off to. Mm. Mm. When his tin can soldier friends take this place and they gonna take this place. Mm -hmm. They will kill you. And everybody here. So now they're allies. What about her mom? Put her out of her misery. Or you could come meet your makers. Oh yeah. Pick your poison, girl. It's not him, it's the mom. Mm -hmm. Aww. I'll find you. Man, he got knocked out cold. Oh, yeah. Okie dokie. <laughs> oh, but no smile. No smile We're this hard time. Now. Yeah, it was a dark okie dokie. Mm -hmm. Lucy. Oh, no. Lucy. Maybe he thinks she was taken by her dad. That's right. He didn't see the ghoul. Mm hmm. Doesn't see him. Okay, she did it. Aww. We did it, Rose. Oh, everything's lighting up. Oh, my gosh. Everything's just falling into place. Right place at the right time. Well, he can't defect now and go be with Lucy. Oh no. Yay. The Hollywood sign in the back. Mm-hmm. Wait, is that his house? I don't know. Oh, her dad? I walk mm. with my A death claw skull? That thing looks metal. <gasps> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what was that? That was New Vegas. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, but I, I did recognize the like the thing around the side, but it looked small. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. He went to New Vegas. The Why? ghoul said he's going to whoever's really pulling the strings. To meet him. Yeah. 
So who's so who is he talking about? In New Vegas. Mr. House would be my guest, but it's hard to know what is canon because right. everybody plays Fallout differently. Even the endings are different. So, and this takes place after that game. So how is? Well, we know they can keep around. people alive with the brains well, and the freezing. Let's just say in the game, it's permanent. <laughs> mm. So who is he going to see, you know? True, true. I, I wonder if they're just gonna pretend New Vegas didn't happen. I don't know. It'll be like interesting to see. Yeah, what storyline they're gonna uh -huh. go with. I did wanna say something. Um, you know, we heard the ghoul say, I wanna know who I can talk to about where my family is. I really think they're in Vault 31 because back in a previous episode, she said, yeah, they're gonna give us a job in a vault where we become managers mm -hmm. and we run things. Yeah. And that is 31 because it's the tri group. And so I'm assuming Cooper got his daughter to the vault in time and he just wasn't on the guest list. So they turned him because away. They do, yeah. Because he was only there, I guess, because they were married, right? Like he was only going to get to go in the vault because he was the spokesperson and they were married. Well, I guess by that time in the future, they weren't anymore, judging by what those guys at the party were saying. Like, exactly. He's having to take these jobs to pay alimony, I guess. Mm -hmm. And it just so happened to be, you know what? If his wife was in charge of when the bombs dropped, or like had a <gasps> hand in it, why would she let it happen when, when her Coop daughter wasn't with, with her? her? Exactly. She had a lot of trust in Coop to, to bring her daughter. Bro, that is ballsy. I guess maybe she did not have like final say, you know? But you would think she would have known like the day and like- been like, hey, no, she can't Coop go to this- No, yeah, yeah, she can't go to that party, you know? That's weird. That is weird. And you know what? We're all we're just kind of assuming this. We never actually saw it in the show. I thought they would show us at some point, like him taking his daughter. Damn, yeah. So we still really don't know what happened. I'm just assuming that that's how it happened. Um, mm. Because he knows that they're still alive somehow. In a vault somewhere. Yeah. Like if Hank is still alive, then they must be still alive too. Like there's a way to keep them alive. Mm -hmm. And judging by how many pods we saw oh. in 31... I don't doubt that they're in 31, mm -hmm. you know? That's what I'm thinking. Also, we didn't cut back to the brother. And to Norm, yeah, I know. I'm so worried about him. You know what's crazy? This whole episode, like, I thought we would get, like, a few resolutions, and, and we did. Um, I love the stuff with Moldaver and Rose. I thought that was very sweet. Almost felt a little romantic um, in the end. Like, they were such close friends, you know? Like, and they were gonna do this together. It was their dying wish. It's very sweet, but we still have a lot of like open-ended things. I mean, obviously with the new Vegas, who's actually pulling all the strings. You know what? It was just like the game. Cause once you end a quest, it immediately, it immediately will like open new quests. And you're like, oh, okay. Well, I guess I'm playing for another hour and a half. Yeah, right. You know? I only thought I was gonna do 45 minutes, but it looks like <laughs> we got two more hours. We're yeah, gone. So it, it, stuff ended, like resolved, and it just opened more avenues. For, right. for next season to explore. And in next season two, now we've got all the power. People are gonna like discover what it's like to have like limitless power just everywhere. And possibly we could be going to Nevada, to Vegas and be swapping back and forth between uh, Vegas oh, and California. yes, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, because we've got the brotherhood in California. Uh-huh. Well guys, I did wanna say that as, you know, a long time Fallout gamer, um, I was pretty optimistic once I saw the trailer. I was a little iffy once I heard they were making a Fallout show. We saw the trailer and I was like, damn, that actually looks pretty good. Like, I'm, I'm optimistic about this. Um, in episode one, once I saw the pregnant lady with the fork in her eye and the machine gun going off, I was like, <laughs> okay, we've nailed it. <laughs> like, from there, it just got better and better and better. So as a Fallout gamer, I gotta say, I was extremely pleased with this just eight episode season, and I hope they do either more episodes next season or just more seasons in general. Oh yeah, I'd be okay with that. I wouldn't mind eight episodes as long as we're still gonna be at, at this quality, you know? 
On what you just said, you know, I've only backseat gamed for Fallout, um, but it is one of like the funnest games I've ever sat back and like watched Christian play because the lore is awesome and I'm a sucker for good lore. Um, and I loved everything about the game, you know, like you learn all this history throughout it. But you're right, in this show, I've seen some things I've never seen, like that one guy coming out of the the plane and getting like hit by the propeller. Oh, that was crazy. That was so <laughs> wild, but only in Fallout would you see something like that. So obviously I loved that in the show. So yeah, I definitely can't wait for season two. All right, guys, this was a fantastic season. Honestly, I feel like they really did the game justice and you know we're gonna be here to watch season two whenever it drops. So if you don't wanna miss that, make sure you like this video and subscribe, definitely helps out our channel and make sure you follow our Instagram for some extra content from us. But as always, you guys are the greatest and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out guys. Bye.